It's a fresh new mascara sound. It's <sighs> music to my ears. Hi Vogue, I'm Tony Garn and I will show you how to do a red carpet makeup look. Or at least try to, because I don't often do this myself. I will start with a primer. It's meant to make everything glow. I'm not a huge fan of moisturizer on the red carpet because I always tend to feel hot and sweaty and that's the opposite of what you want to look like. We are gonna do a bit of a smoky eye and a lip. I'm gonna start with the eye. Smart, wise makeup artists have told me that if you start the other way around, everything will fall down anyway. So I'll start with the eye and then we'll do the skin after. Okay, I'm gonna start with a concealer on the eyelid because I'm gonna work a little bit around the eyelid. I'm gonna even do an eyeliner after. And I think it's important just to get the redness out of it. Okay, the rest comes later. Now let's get straight into it and start with eyeshadow. <laughs> I chose a bit of a reddish tone. So I think it's a nice base for some shadow that's not too dark. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of a different color just for the middle. Okay, so now I added a little highlight in the middle of my darker eyeshadow, but now I think it's very important, especially for my eyes that are not huge, to do a little bit of contouring underneath always. For that, I'll pick a different tone. I've never ever left the house with eyeshadow without doing something underneath. Okay, so I just use a little bit of cleanser and just kind of pull up from below all the mess that I made. All of a sudden, I got like a shape here. Ooh. Now, the step that I would never dare to do by myself, today's a first, here with you guys at Vogue, I'm gonna do an eyeliner. This feels very high school on the floor in the bathroom with five girls around me-ish. I'm a little bit nervous that I'm being watched right now. So I was told to start from the outside and then go in and stay along the eyelashes. I broke it. It just fell off. I think I need a sharpener. Thank you. Not that close to my eyelid, but it's, it's thicker than I thought it would be. I took this little brush, that's not the actual eyeliner, just to add a little more wing at the outside. But it's easier with this little brush to get more precision. And I'm gonna stop now because I think I'm just gonna ruin it otherwise. I think I'm okay. I think I did okay. Next step, my favorite step, mascara. First things first, eyelash curler. For this one, I'm gonna squeeze the shit out of these guys because we're going on the red carpet. Now, because I did such a beautiful job with my eyes and I don't wanna ruin it anymore, I'm gonna have to be really careful with this very thick and heavy mascara, but I think it's very important for this dark eye. I'm really trying hard not to mess it up. I'm gonna do multiple layers, especially on the top, because there's not really one mascara that does a perfect effect after one round. Gotta make sure it's dried, otherwise a disaster may happen. And then for the bottom lashes, I'm gonna use a different mascara with a thinner brush. Okay, I just cleaned up the little messes. This is exactly why I didn't do the skin yet, so I think now it's time for foundation, finally. I don't love using brushes for this. I kind of love the sponge. And I like to wet this before, so it's a bit damp and easier to apply everything. And this is for the red carpet, so this is one of the only times where I'm not scared of actually putting foundation everywhere to make it really even and give it the glow. Because you never know on the red carpet. The cameras could be anywhere, 360. Now, concealer. There's two types, one for under the eyes, more of a highlight, and then there's one for all the other rednesses and other blemishes. So I'll start with the under the eyes one. And now I'm gonna use a different concealer for the other rednesses and little pimples and things. What's next? I think I'm gonna continue with eyebrows. I'm not gonna do too much, but I definitely think they need a little bit of filling in and some brushing. I always like to focus on the middle, the center point, because that is kind of where they take the most pictures. On the red carpet, it's very much the boom, 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 and then the middle kind of has to sit. And always up, 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 as I think it really opens up the face to brush up. I'm gonna add my contour with this kind of muddy looking color. It looks way grosser than it is. Somehow this tends to be my color. And I'm just gonna brush it on right in here. And it's important to also get the temples because with the temples and then under the cheekbone, you kind of connect the two, which highlights the actual bone. Contouring always is matched with a little bit of a highlight. So now I'm gonna add something that looks like a blush, but is more of a highlight that'll add on top of the contouring. This is something I always feel like is completely unnecessary because I feel like I blush so quickly, but this makes makeup artists very happy. And you get the red in and the blush in and the shine. 
the thing where normally our grannies used to just put lipstick and go So depending on the outfit, I would even maybe add a lip. Barely have any room on my hand. I feel like Picasso over here. Ooh. I always love a strong bordeaux -y red, but it's always important to add a lip liner before because otherwise this will not stay. It'll stay for 10 minutes. Where's my lip liner? Lip liner, come to me now. I like to act as if the top lip was the same as the bottom. I like it more straight. Just a liner, just an outside. I'm a little bit scared to turn my head for you guys to see it. It is not done. Now comes the actual lipstick. Wow, I love this lipstick. The last thing that's missing that I think is quite important is a highlight. Inside the eyes, maybe on the nose. For that, I'm gonna use a little brush and just get like a silvery type of powder. One more thing that's very, very important for every red carpet is powder because you never know how hot it's gonna be, how much you're gonna shine, you don't wanna look sweaty, ever. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of powder on top of everything. All right, where's my fancy black dress? <laughs> then I'm ready to go. This is what you're gonna do all night with these lips, by the way. Just hope you don't smile with purple all over. <laughs> That's it. This was my dark red carpet look. I hope you enjoyed it. Hi Vogue, I'm Tony Garn. To watch more videos, subscribe here. Now, go do it.